Hello everyone. This is Gayathri Priya, Assistant Professor in the Department of EC of Aurum Engineering College. I welcome you all for this second session on stick diagram. Yeah. In today's session, let us see how to draw a stick diagram for CMOS inverter. Right. Here we are having a CMOS inverter. The term CMOS in the sense complementary metal oxide semiconductor so complementary in the sense it is going to be a combination of your n mass transistor and p mass transistor right here we could see this is a p mass transistor and this is going to be your n mass transistor as mentioned already n mass transistor is acting as a pull down network and whereas a p mass transistor acts as a pull up network right so this is the gate terminal so we have tagged the gate of p mass transistor and n mass transistor and the input a is applied to the gate whereas the output is taken put is 1 the output is going to be 0 in this case right next what is the first and foremost step in the sense we need to draw the basic supply and the ground. As we all have a already, always the metallic contact has to be drawn in blue color line. Right? First, we have to draw the supply rails. Okay? By leaving some space between them in order to accommodate the remaining components of the layout. The next step is we have to draw the P mass transistor and the N mass transistor. Okay, yellow color line indicates your P diffusion and green color line indicates N diffusion, right? And red color line indicates the polysilicon material. So, this polysilicon material will be functioning as over which we are having our gate terminal. And this is source drain. Similarly, this is source and drain of your N mass transistor, right? We have drawn the transistor. Then, we have to make the input connection. As I have told already, the gate of P mass and N mass are drawn in the form of a polysilicon from where we are going to apply the input as A. Right? Similarly, we have told already, okay, the drain of both P mass and N mass has to be tagged together and they are connected to the output. Right? Actually, this is blue in color. Okay. Next. We need to connect the source of your P mass transistor to the supply and the source of your N mass transistor to the ground. Then we have to make down the contact that is electrical contact. As rule number two, okay, when we are having two or more sticks of different category, we have to indicate the contact by a bubble, okay, by a black color dot. Okay, here we could see the metallic contact and the source of your P mass transistor. Similarly, this is drain of your P mass transistor connected to the drain of N mass transistor from where we are going to take down the output. Okay, so hope you understand the stick diagram for this C mass inverter. Okay, finally, we have to draw down the into mark at the substrate. Okay, it indicates the substrate contact okay this is the final stick diagram for your c mass inverter okay first step is we need to draw the vdd and the ground okay and then we have to draw this demarcation line this demarcation line indicates the separation of your p mass transistor and n mass transistor then you have to connect the uh, P diffusion by yellow color and N diffusion by a green color. Then we need to connect a polysilicon material. Okay. So from which we are going to give the input as A. Right. The drain of P mass and N mass are shorted together by a metallic contact. And at this junction we are going to take down the output. Okay. Output is Y is equal to A bar. That is inversion of A. Apart from that. The source of P mass is connected to the supply and the source of N mass is connected to the ground. Okay. 
we have to make down the contact okay whenever we are having two or more sticks of different material we have to indicate the electrical contact okay finally we have to indicate a substrate contact right so hope it is understood and moving to the next example yeah so here we have been given up with the identify what is this given layer and then gradually we shall get into the stick diagram for the sick right so as i have told already okay the pull up network are going to be p mass in nature that we can identify by means of the bubble at the gate terminal right so we are having bubble at the gate terminal okay so this a and b are p mass transistor and this a and b indicates your input for the n mass transistor right so this is ground and this is connected to the supply vdd okay next what happens when we are going to apply zero and zero as we have told already that whenever right whenever the p mass transistor are connected in parallel it performs a multiplication operation that is it is going to perform some and operation over here right you could see the two table for this for zero and zero input okay that is if either a or b is zero your p mass transistor will be shorted that is it will be set at a high value showing the output as one whenever both the inputs are going to be one the output is going to be zero this is nothing but the output of your nand gate okay so we have told already this n mass transistor will be function as a pull down network and the p mass transistor will be function as a pull up network right so the pull down network is